Maybe. Well, we made it back, folks. I think. <laughs> I don't know. So we are. So uh, I don't see nothing in the chat. So we talked a little bit about needles and uh, what have you and some paint. So uh, I guess we'll just go on and talk and then we'll publish a video. I guess that's the way we're going to have to go. We got four back. We do? We do. Oh, there's Terry. Sorry. Hey, Terry, sorry. I don't know what went on. It just, it even on our phones, it shut us down. I don't know if they're having difficulty with our internet here in this wonderful state or what they're doing. I think it's our wonderful weather. It could be our weather, too. <laughs> We're supposed to be minus 24 in the morning. Happy Valentine's to you, too, buddy. Hey, I have a few more hours before I have to, you know, tolerate Valentine's Day. You're going to love your Valentine's Day. I already loved it. I already got everything. <laughs> oh, you're going to get breakfast in bed in the morning. Then I'm going to cook you a romantical dinner tomorrow night. Romantic. Yeah. I love it. Romantic. You know, a romantical dinner. So. Romantical dinners scare me. So we've talked a little bit about painting already and talked a little bit about our brushes. Uh, anybody got any questions? If not, okay. we're going to move on to some stuff that we're going to be doing for y'all. One thing is I'm going to start filming in different locations. I know, I'm so excited. We, uh, can I tell them? Uh, about Gertrude? Yep. I guess, I mean. We bought us a travel trailer, so we're going to travel to a lot of the lakes in our state, and maybe some in Texas, and, uh, you know, around, and we're going to film live on the lake, or not live, but we'll film on the lake, paint lures and stuff. That's going to be, be fun. No, Ethan, I didn't get your... Well, congratulations, Glenn and Ethan. I didn't get your question. We uh, went dead. Our live feed went down. I don't think dead is the right word. Yeah, our feed went dead, down, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, Terry, are you enjoying painting uh, crankbaits and stuff? I know I'm addicted to it. It's kind of like craziness to me sometimes. Addictive. And if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know, buddy. Lynn Stanley just got married yesterday. Congratulations, yes, buddy. Yes, congratulations. That's so exciting. We've been married 26 years. What's the trick to getting the perfect finish out of Defcon? Uh, the trick is... Uh, you have to have that DEFCON between 64 and 72 degrees, and it shouldn't bubble on you. Uh, you can use a heat gun and heat that a little bit, and then bubbles will pop. So you can do that, buddy. And then pick that, that hook on the bottom so that when you hang it, it drains down that hook. Yeah. And then kind of keep an eye on it and, you know, move that hook around every once in a while yeah, yeah. so that it doesn't gum up on the bottom. The only problem we've ever had with them, and it wasn't re really even a problem. And and brush it off. Don't leave it like. Yeah, clean. You got to make sure you don't leave too much on it. That's right. why I, I brush and I go over my baits about four or five times, mm -hmm. and and in between I wipe that bait off on that uh, little solo cup, or not the bait. I wipe the brush off, and that's how I do it. The epoxy. So yeah. it's a very thin layer, completely covered. And, and not a lot to run off. Okay, Charlie. Yes, I have uh, acrylic paints, but I only use them in, to when I'm mixing colors. Acrylics are really, really hard on your airbrush, and uh, you got to really, really thin them out. So. And painting them on with a brush. Yeah, she she <laughs> yeah I have she has a lot of that out there so I do but it's so. very hard to use it dries almost as fast as you put it on the bait and 
it's it's just hard to use. The water-based paints are so much easier. There's no reason to spend a lot of money on acrylics. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When those water-based paints are so readily available. So uh, Barbara would be sure to stop by and see y'all. We'll be there. Oh, and Barbie? Terry, you're 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 just hung now, buddy. That's all I can tell you. You're just hung. Why is he hung? Huh? I can't remember. Yes, I am addicted to buying. Was addicted to buying baits. Now I'm spending all my money on blanks and paint. Right. Yep. It's hooks, uh, rings, eyes, it, it, boxes. You know, it all goes together. And it's all trial and error. So you have to keep a notebook. I will tell you that keep some sort of plan record. And that way, when you yeah. order something that you don't like, you write down why you didn't like it. And then when you go back to order and you're thinking, okay, I just ordered all these baits. These are the ones I want, but these are the ones I'm ordering again by accident. Yeah. We did that a lot of trial and error. And we're like, well, this, these aren't the baits that we wanted. Why are they here? And we had ordered the wrong ones, thinking that those were the baits we wanted. They uh, weren't. And they weren't. They, they were not. So keep some sort of record you know with a data sheet on google some notebook something to tell you what you're buying where you're buying it from and what you think of it because you're not going to paint 20 baits all at one time and you put them in the water and you see how they you know how they pull through the water and you're gonna you're gonna know right away whether you like that bait or not okay uh, mm -hmm. mr glenn stanley we had a lot of videos already mm -hmm. filmed uh, Glenn, we did get the other camera, and we have been filming with both cameras with close-ups, so we're working that in. So, I gotta figure out how to do all the editing. That's I'm pretty tacky, and that stuff is just not the funnest. I have a really good computer too, and it it lags a little. It yeah. takes about three hours to upload a video. So Ben Barnes, don't you dare give her no damn yardstick. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks for stopping by, buddy. God bless you. <laughs> yep. That's good, Terry. I, you're going to sell more and more and more and more. Uh, start hitting your little mom and pop stores close and uh, stuff and uh, show them what you got and wholesale them to them and uh, move on from there. That's that's what I do. I have a lot of people I wholesale my baits to. And, and don't think it just has to be a fishing store. Yeah. One of our most popular customers is a designer and yeah. she does like, um, I don't know, interior design. She has this cute little store and she said that the ladies were coming in to buy decorations and then they were leaving her store to buy gifts for her, you know, for the men. And so by having the baits in there, now she has a little bit of everything and because they're, um, you know, one of a kind specialty baits, they fit right in her you know, little groove that she's promoting. So we were really excited about that. She's such a sweet lady. Yeah, she is. And so that's mainly what we're targeting right now are makers, you know, people that are in the same small business situation that we're in that, you know, we all kind of get together and promote each other. Yep. Yep. I, pr I promote people quite often. Yeah. Uh, welcome, David. It's good to see you, buddy. So, yeah. Uh, when y'all when y'all painting, I would love to see pictures of what y'all paint, and I will promote you on my channel. That's, yeah, we would love to do yes, features. That features you, on y'all stuff. If you give us permission to to use your pictures, I can put them into a little slideshow, and you know we can even do an interview with just you and Charlie, and uh, you can kind of tell about what you're doing and. And then we can put it all into one thing and, and put it up on a feature. We would love to start yeah. doing that. That would be great. Yeah, if y'all would like to do something like that, just let us know. I'm not out of in this for uh, to get 9 million subscribers and 52 million watch hours. I'm in it for my fishing community people. Yeah, but we sure get giddy that we're only 19 people from 400 right. subscribers. <laughs> I never thought that I would get... 100 subscribers no we didn't so. we didn't it took me forever to talk him into doing this in the first place so i said let's just put it out there and see what happens and then you know it started actually growing and we're just ecstatic it's a lot of fun 
Okay, Logan, I'm glad that you liked the cam uh, camo lure I painted for you, buddy. That was a fun paint. It was. I enjoyed that, and I had to scratch my head for about, I don't know, nine minutes to figure <laughs> out what I want to do on that. So, I, and I've been scratching it on a, a different pattern for that, too. So, uh, you started something, buddy, and I'm going to finish it for us. I think we need so, to do orange and blue. Well, we'll see what I do next. Uh, so, Mr. Mark, how are you, buddy? <laughs> I just started painting baits this fall after a couple of years of gathering up the necessary items. It takes a while, don't it, buddy? I'm having a blast learning, and thank you for the videos, as it has been a help in learning. Well, anything you need, Mr. Mark, you just let us know, and uh, I'll do my best to answer. You know, everybody has their own style of painting lures. Uh, I paint some off-the-wall stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to help you any way I can. I'd like to see what you paint. I want to see everybody's stuff. So, uh, Barbara, uh, do you have your uh, apparel for sale in your website? She needs her an ugly dog shirt. Oh, so, Barbie, what am I going to do with you? Um, so, yeah, we can, <laughs> we can get you one. We Okay, so uh, we had these samples made, and... I couldn't get exactly what I wanted because I wanted the dark shirts and, and the sublimation like we put on the orange shirts didn't work. So well, she won't let me put what I want to put on it. Uh, no, no, not She's mean, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he wanted to put on it. It was kind of I just scary. want to put ugly dog lures better than abandoned beer truck. Oh, she won't let me put yeah, that on there. Maybe so. later. Not right now. Oh, yeah, we, we'll get we'll get you a shirt, Barbara. Just let us know what size. Uh, Ethan, I used to fish semi-pro tournaments as a young man. Yes, I did, buddy. And I got found my beautiful wife, and we started having children, and uh, all that went out the door. <laughs> so, hello, Terry. Glad to have you tonight, buddy. We are in uh, New Mexico is where we live. We live eight miles from the Texas line, just right inside. Mm -hmm. uh, Ian, I will be glad to make a video series reviewing subscribers painted lures. Y'all just send me the stuff and give us the permissions to do it. And uh, we jump right on that. Well, on that note. Yeah, you, 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 yeah the boss <laughs> is speaking, so I'm going to shut up. We're going to do a camera giveaway. Yes. And so for our camera giveaway to enter... We want you guys to send us clips of 30 seconds to two like minutes, three minutes, two or three minutes. Yeah. What I want to do is help somebody. See? This is a very nice camera to film with. Uh, it is I want to help somebody start their own channel. So uh, what I want y'all to do is send us a clip of, of uh, what y'all want to do. Yeah. You know, it don't matter if it's a, uh, Stitching up somebody's arm if you want to be a doctor. <laughs> you want to film it. Send me the damn video and I'll we'll review it. And then when we, uh, the 15th of March. Yeah, the, the deadline is 15th of March. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put a tab on our uglydoglure.com site. So you'll actually go there once we put out the videos on March 15th. Um, and, you know, everybody that submits them, I'm just going to put them into one video. We'll let people start voting on the website, and April 1st, we're going to tally the votes from everybody and see who won the camera. And you get the bag and the camera, the, battery the lens, three batteries, and a charger. And a big old hug for me. No hug, because I'm not taking you anywhere to hug people. You're just mean. I know. Anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. So uh y'all will be the ones that pick the winner. Yeah, uh, I don't want that. We're not gonna vote on it, none of us. <laughs> so I'm gonna let y'all pick the winner for that. Uh Patrick, I'm glad that your wife liked her lure. Absolutely we are. But uh that's awesome. I love doing the challenges. That's that's one of my favorite things. And Barbara needs a large shirt. So okay. You want black, Barbara? Yeah. Right now, all we have is black and orange, I think. I'll have to look. Maybe white. 
So, uh, Ron S., I must say publicly, wow. <laughs> I'm blind to know about. I must say publicly, thank you for being such an inspiration, always having my back. You don't realize how I was down sometimes, and boom, you were there. Aww. Uh, I, I believe in you 100%, Ron. You're one awesome individual. Uh, and talented. And talented. Oh you gosh, have great talented. things ahead of you, son. <laughs> Stop uh, being mean to yourself on Facebook. Or I'm coming after you. She's, yeah. You go be mean to Ron for a while. That way I get a break. <laughs> so. <laughs> I so, always uh, use the live stuff, though, because I sleep. As far as the camera goes, folks, I want to pay it forward. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we were going to sell it, but nah, this is way better. This is way better. I just want to help somebody get started. Uh, I, I'm not stingy. I don't live in a big old fancy house. I, mm -hmm. I'm a very simple person. Very simple. As long as I got Copenhagen, coffee, beer, whiskey, and bullets, I'm happy. And fishing lures. I was going to say fishing lures. <laughs> so uh, we, we want to help somebody get started. Uh, or, or get going more. I mean, if you're already going, going more, yes, yes. It's just going to bump you up to that next level. And, and the reason um, that I upgraded is because what I do with my real estate, I need a lot of movement and a follow focus. This camera is a prop it up and shoot video kind of a camera. Uh, so really I upgraded for my real estate company, not necessarily for Goose, but he gets the benefit of all the stuff that I do. Well, I paid for a lot of it too. Mm. So don't give me that benefit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, Ron, you got, you got great things ahead of you, buddy. So uh, Terry, he's from Ontario, Canada. So, uh, Wow. I fish a lot of salmon on the Great Lakes, rainbow bass. I would love to rainbows see that. and bass in the summer. Well, Terry, one of these days I'm gonna show up at the border and just start <laughs> screaming your name, <laughs> so you can take me out there fishing. We may warn you, but yeah, we yeah. would love to go up there and fish. That would be great. Actually, he fishes and I film. I I don't even yeah. fish. Uh, I just listen to. Can you read right. that name on your phone? That next name. Um, they're from New Hampshire. I can't read the name because I'm blind to the back back this far. I told you to move uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even have it pulled up on my phone. Release Hesney Undercut 12. They're from New Hampshire. Uh, they fish a lot as a family. Oh, uh, fine. I, I'm, I, I, love, I love everybody. You know, I'm just that type of person and, uh, yeah. more the merrier and we appreciate you watching uh bless you uh you know all of that we got lots of crazy stuff coming up folks so it seems like every time we put something into motion something else comes up so we i've, I've been wanting it either to buy a boat or to buy a camper and we were we were looking at new fifth wheels, and I found that my truck is half ton. You know, I'd have to hold, buy a whole new truck, which damn the bad. <laughs> that's not going to happen. So we opted to buy an older bumper pull to fix up. So this summer, we're going to fix it up, and we're going to travel around, and we're going to go places. Yeah, yeah. I've which, worked for fifty three years, folks, and I have worked very hard. You haven't worked for fifty three years. I damn sure have. You have not. I came out of my mom and the next day I was in the field. Oh, for me. I can't. So, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you just said that. Okay, Barbara. <laughs> message retracted. Okay, so she wanted a black, but she's thinking about it. Uh, well, Barbara, you know where I am. So. Gary Ambruster, just getting started in painting my lures for personal use. How do you know which color to start with dark to light? It's art. Uh, I make a lot of the darker colors for fall baits and a lot of the lighter cutters, colors for uh, summer baits, spring baits. So that's how I do it. I mean, you just got to get in there and play and just, just make it your own. So that's the best advice I can give you. 
and he has just boxes and boxes of lures so when he goes out fishing if something doesn't quite you know catch the way he wants to then he has a very wide selection and changes them around so yes uh fishing is one of the most awesome activities that you can do eat by yourself or as a family uh it's just about the time it you spend with your kids. I can remember the first time my daughter caught her first bass. She's come oh, running up, up the bank. Mm. She was like three years old, two years old. She wasn't very old at all. She come running up the bank, just dragging that fish behind <laughs> her. So, so, yeah. I have that picture somewhere. I, yeah, we I love, find we, it. I'll show I you love guys. everything to do with fishing. Uh, I remember Cody caught his first bluegill. He was fishing and boy, he was just he was what six maybe and he's just trying so hard and about that time we said well let's go to another place and so he starts reeling it in really fast and when it comes up this little bitty bluegill on the end of it it was yeah. so cute yeah yeah it was just his size fish uh yeah i eat fish i eat deer i eat a lot of wild stuff <laughs> so so we buy very little beef yeah he's the best cook Oh so, man, just mouth watering. Yeah. So fish. Hi Daniel. How are you, buddy? Daniel a lot. Daniel's my little buddy. Daniel comes over and uh, hangs out at the grill with me. Yeah. So Daniel's my bud. Known him for several years now. So better Victor. come to Pennsylvania and let me take you fishing. You're gonna be surprised when I uh, pull Show up. up. And uh, your driveway and say, I'm here, let's go. I'll warn you, don't so, worry. Yeah, she'll warn you, but I won't. Because once I get in the truck and sit down there and start riding, I'm going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I think it's my driving. It's easier to sleep than panic. So black is good for Barbara. She decided she wanted a black one. Okay. Uh, Mark O'Herald. A great big tip I got from you was the use of folk art color shift paint yes sir i know isn't it pretty yeah i love color shift i sell a lot of color shift uh jerk bakes my guys go crazy for those things those solid colors with the yeah yeah they they love them yeah we uh especially when we go um to trade shows those are the best sellers yeah so uh david uh I got a little kit to do the soft plastic uh, for Valentine's Day. Uh, I've never done it. I'm going to be asking you questions. I tried to do it, and then oh, it, it kind of went all crazy on me, so I'm going to have to get out there. And, we have it recorded. It. Maybe maybe Monday I'll put that out. I don't know. So, Ethan, if we ever get to Pennsylvania, I'll give you a shout-out, and we'll look you up, too, and you can go fishing with me and Ron. Oh, that'd be have like yeah. a meetup. Dwayne, we are doing great uh, tonight. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day. It's cold. Yeah, it's, it's cold. We're what not I used saying? to cold. We live in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> and that dang Arctic blast coming through. We're supposed to be minus 24 <laughs> in the morning. So. Put, tried to put my dog out while ago. He looked at me like, are you crazy? <laughs> he looks at you like that all the time. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, Ron, I got your address, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, so, what other things that you got that you want to talk about there, young lady? Uh, let's see. Um, the classes that you're going to do. Yep, yep. Yeah, Terry, I'm going to watch some uh, videos on the plastics. I just tried to do it on my own, and you know, they he come out okay, but. He did fine. I wasn't real happy with you. I yeah. want to see bloopers video. Six degrees in Missouri. Yeah, it's cold here too, buddy. <laughs> cold in Kentucky. Hello, Dwayne. We don't do bloopers very often because he's nuts. World's worst fisherman is a good one for uh, learning to do soft plastics. I'll have to remember that. So, <laughs> Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that, buddy. What a name. I love so, some of these names. So uh, what I'm going to be doing... Yeah, Carrie, I'll get to Missouri, I promise you, buddy. 
we we'll fish down at Ozark. Yeah. We haven't been to Missouri since your dad lived there. Yeah, yeah. My dad lived on a ranch out there for a long time. Van so. Zant. Van Zant, Missouri. Yeah. So uh, she was talking about classes a while ago, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, giving back to the service men and women of the world. Uh, I'm teaching classes out on Cannon Air Force Base on airbrushing and different techniques. So that's a lot of fun. If y'all would like to me to film a little bit of that, uh, I would do that if they'll let me. I don't think. We'd have to do one in town. I don't think they're going to let us film anything on the Yeah, place, we won't but be. We'll be uh, in the... Uh, we'll see. If we can, if we can, fill it, base, if, so. if we can film it, we will. Yeah. But yep. it, we have to get permission from the colonel to do that. So. American Flag Lure Challenge. Ooh. I can do that, buddy. But it'll probably have an ugly dog twist on it. Yes, please, and God bless you guys. Yeah, God bless you too, Ron. How's your wife and uh, daughter and everybody doing, Ron? Are they doing okay? Y'all staying warm enough? Up there in Pennsylvania, I bet it does get cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's what? It's easy. Oh. Yeah. David, I'll be probably uh, sending you an email sometime, buddy, saying, oh, my God, what did I just do? I got him like this simple worm stuff. I mean, it should be simple. Yeah, Dwayne, you're you're welcome. Uh, very welcome. Uh, I'm a huge advocate for our wounded warriors and uh, and uh, and thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I actually work on Cannon Air Force Base, so. Uh, and ninety percent of my clients are service yeah, members. Yeah, so we, yeah. So we have a lot of respect for anybody yes, that's a veteran. So, anything I can do for you, buddy, let me know. Ron says they're warmest and everybody's doing great. Well, tell them hello from the ugly dog, folks. Hi, uh, warmish. I love that. So, the ish is my thing, though. I've been ishing for a long time. <laughs> Whose lure won the Valentine's challenge? You want to tell? We're going to do that tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> On the 14th, because right. I'm hoping somebody's going to come up and catch me up. I need some votes. I think I need like five votes. So, Charlie, uh, I would appreciate that a lot, buddy. I may even want to buy some from you. Or trade them out. Or we'll trade them out, yeah. whatever you want to do, buddy. Uh, do ben, uh, I have the highest, highest respect for our veterans. So, and our law enforcement. Absolutely. Can't wait to see who wins the sweetheart challenge. I have a feeling that's Melissa. Okay. Not so far, Barb. They're talking on the TV. They will all say hello. <laughs> Can I vote five more times? No, one's enough. <laughs> I know it was such a cool idea, but. We're going to do a St. Patrick's Day challenge. Yep, and you guys and are going to love it. I already got a plan for that going through my head. Mine too. It's called More Than Luck. Mine's called Drunk Irishman. <laughs> 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 uh, mine has nothing to do with beer, okay? Uh, okay, mine does. Everything around me has to do with that. So. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> so, what else you want to chat with oh. them about, hon? Um, let's see. So, we are going to try to do this live stream thing at least once a month, unless it just is a big thing, and then we might do it more. But we're going to try it on Saturdays, the second Saturday of the month at 6 p.m. Yeah. From now until our anniversary date on July the 14th, yeah. I think is when we started this. Um, so for sure, between now and then, the second Saturday of every month, we're going to go live. If we find need to do more, we will absolutely do more, but I don't know how, I don't know how you guys are feeling about this. Okay, Mark. Uh, he says, I'm going to put you on the spot. What are you going to do? 
to do for your wife on Valentine's Day? Oh my goodness, did you not watch the challenge? He gave me a compressor. He gave me a gun type air gun. An airbrush. He gave me the necklace that he painted. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think he's done enough. He and I'm going to, actually, I'm going to fix her breakfast in bed in the morning, and then I'm going to fix her romantical dinner tomorrow night. Romantical. Romantical, yeah. I just love it. Every time you say that, it just cracks me up. So, and it's 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's what my note says. Be sure to yeah. tell you guys. Um, we also have yep. been looking into doing a podcast, but we want to do the podcast with guests, not with really only us. So we're trying to figure out how to do that. I'm learning. It's like going to university. <laughs> it's, it's like a whole study thing. So as soon as we figure that out, too, we really want to start yeah. that. That's kind of neat. We like to listen to them. So putting one out there for everybody would be fun. We did that. Mountain's blank. Yes, I still have a yardstick. <laughs> yeah, she got one. Out. She use it too. Mr. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh, go to Lowe's today and get a two by four and I wouldn't go. Yeah, but that was for something else. Uh, we kind of mentioned it in one of the other, other videos. So we're on YouTube. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and now we're on Odyssey. And things on, on Odyssey aren't as popular, but the way that they're, you know, kind of restricting some things on YouTube, we wanted people that didn't want to stay on YouTube to have another option. So it's kind of a neat platform, but there is no censorship, so fair warning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dwayne, uh, your wife is going to actually love getting started painting lures. Uh, my wife's just now kind of getting into it. I guess her first lure that she painted was our Christmas challenge, huh? Yeah. So I have uh, a, a rock. No, we did one before Christmas. No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't remember. It's been more than a week ago. So So I have a rock painting little group that I've been in for, I don't know, a couple of years now and just absolutely love it. I mean, we went on vacation and that was the thing. We went down to the river and gathered up rocks and all of a sudden around the table I'm painted rocks. So whenever um, he started painting lures, gosh, that was three years ago. Um, I was more interested in painting rocks than I was painting lures. But the things like the shark, you know, that stuff is just cute. So I'll do more of it. Thanks for tuning in, Ethan. We appreciate it, buddy. Absolutely, we do. Absolutely. So, we, uh, we talked about blanks on the other video. Um, for everybody that helped us with our website and sent in all those great ideas and and actually um, chatted with me and, and tried to help me figure out how to get Squarespace or Square. It's the Square site, Square Up site um, put together and, and up and running. I really, really appreciate it. That was yep. amazing how many people actually contacted us. And this is what I use, and this is how I use it. Yeah, that was awesome. It really was. And, and now we have it up. We have everything going. We have inventory. Um, we have it sections um, where you can go in and find different things. And a little bit easier, way easier than when I had it. Um, so yep. Yep. you guys have any other suggestions? We would love to hear them anytime we can make improvements. We will sure look into that. Um, Let's talk a little bit about odd and unusual paint jobs. <laughs> uh, it's art. I love them. I mean, I just absolutely love to to see the odd stuff and the unusual paints. It just uh, does my heart good. I paint some traditional stuff, but most of stuff I paint is kind of a little bit off the wall. When, when he first started, he painted a lot of traditional. traditional. And that's it. And uh, when, when he got into this, especially the challenges, really sparked his imagination. And I'm just amazed at some of the stuff that he does now. And there's some stuff that he, he will paint and then say, no, nah, I don't like that. And he'll kind of put it off to the side. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to put it up on the on the video, so we we start over, and he does something even more amazing. So, do you guys ever wonder if that happens? Yes, it does. Yeah, you just wash them off and use them later. 
That's all you got to do. Uh, okay, Ron, here's a weird question. Did you ever have to do a funny paint job? Yes. More than one. Funny as in? Just funny. Well, you're not painting clowns. I think that's How true. How do you know what I'm painting when you uh -huh. ain't around? No clowns. Most of my paint jobs are funny. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> Let's see. Let me think about that a minute. Caitlin's lure. Our Caitlin. Yeah. I painted my daughter a pink raccoon. It's beautiful. I think it's like episode. So it was kind of a funny paint job. Challenge five or something. Challenge yeah, four it was way back there. That's what she wanted was a pink raccoon. So that's what I made. And then she took it fishing and got it caught up in the, in the underbrush and lost it and she was so upset and as they were leaving my mom turned the boat around and looked down and it was right there on top so they were able to recover it i don't think she'll ever fish it again though ron said he had to paint a dog turd one time i bet that was a funny lure <laughs> well he painted french toast the other day now he's got a challenge for ice cream Mel melted. Uh, melted banana split melted yeah. banana split that one's yeah. gonna be fun uh <laughs> Daniel says I can paint, paint a clownfish. No. Well. So I kind of already did that, but I went the other way. Uh, you painted Dory. It's so cute. And then I get that stupid song in my head that just keeps swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I put that in your head. I just It's in my head, so. Have fun with that. Yeah. That was. That's kind of all the way through those. Uh. <laughs> I've had some questions about our packaging. So just to clarify that, if you guys um, want me to do a video about just how I do the packaging, because I designed it, I print it myself. Uh, I get the kids out here and I have them cut it so all the, the sides are crooked because nobody can cut a straight line. And then we fold them, we punch the holes in them, we cut the plastic to fit. I mean, it's a, it's a whole thing that we do. There's no you know, big company that does it for us. I, I would like that. You think we yeah, could... me too. I wish I had a big company put these damn hooks on for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't do that. I donate DNA yeah, when that right. happens. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, thank you now it's in his head. <laughs> oh, sorry, Daniel. Just have another, another drink. It'll go away. <laughs> uh, Dwayne them said they'd love that kind of a video, so We'll, we'll do that video. Uh, what I want to talk a little bit about was uh, what we enjoy the most out of uh, doing what we do. And I enjoy them. I enjoy the people. <laughs> I, I read emails, try to almost every day. When we were sick, we, we weren't able to, but, yeah, yeah. you know, it just kind of clouds your head up, but really just love hearing from you guys and seeing the pictures that you're sending us that's why i want to do the features because wow some of yeah, them some of them are gorgeous oh they are pretty yeah and then you know ron he puts my initial charlie and i's initial on a, a lure and then can't figure out why i won't let charlie fish it it's not that i'm being mean it's just so awesome i love it <laughs> and if we lost it i'd be devastated well ron if you don't mind I'll go ahead and show the lure. It's it's not got eyes on it yet, and it's not epoxy yet because it's too cold. So uh, if you don't mind, you give me permission. I'll show them the dory lure that I've been painting for you. Bruce. So it's in my basket in my bedroom. Okay, I'll be right back. So you make that call, buddy. You probably like to see it yourself. So anyway, you know, I, I, he said, go ahead. So I'm going to show y'all the door lure that I've been working on for him. It's actually been, I took it to work and set at my desk and, uh, he holds it up there. Oh. And this is the door lure that I'm working on for Ron. It's not focusing. Not focusing very good. So it's not finished. It still likes a few more yeah. steps on it. But. 
it's Thank gonna be awesome when it's all finished isn't it so it's even got the, the little yellow fins underneath <laughs> just like dory <laughs> so. she just keeps swimming swimming <laughs> so i sit there at my desk and uh mess with that thing but your boss isn't listening i am the boss so. <clears throat> Oh, what do you think about that, Ron? Wait till it gets epoxy on it. And, and I, that's, that was a fun little paint to do. So, uh, wait till you see the other one. I ain't going to show it off. It's going to be a surprise to you. More so, I'm not going outside to get it. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't cool. either. <laughs> so, well, that was a lot of fun to mess with that. So. <laughs> What's that say? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that was a, a lot of hand drawing on that lure. Sitting there with my door shut to my office with my little pins of doing it. My little paint pins. So. See, I can't testify to that because it wasn't there. So you left me out. Um, <laughs> love it. Just lost it already to my wife. I'm <laughs> sorry, Ron. Nay, I, I feel your pain, brother. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so bad that I ordered special display cases for those lures, Ron. I did. So. Yeah, they'll be preserved forever. Yeah. So. I have little little uh, cards ready to put in the display cases so that everybody knows what it is. <laughs> I'll show you whenever we get them done. Yeah. They're, they're in the mail. Yeah. Uh, for any of my... Uh, walleye guys if y'all are on tonight uh i ordered baits just especially to paint for you guys some deep diving trolling stuff and then i got some uh vibrating blade baits in a couple of days ago so uh we'll those get started are, painting yes those are for walleye yeah. yeah i don't know they're deep deep baits so they were heavy yeah, yeah. i mean if i had thrown them at his head it would hurt no <laughs> them were all coming so, uh, <laughs> and you just paint those like the others, <laughs> the metal ones. Yeah, I'm gonna put a different primer on. Them. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Ron. I'm glad your wife likes it. Wait till she sees what'll come in the mail for her. I actually painted her a lure for herself too. So. I know. I'm trouble. not gonna tell her what it is. She's just gonna have to wait and. Paste the floor. <laughs> Just tell her to be mean to you. It makes the time go by quicker, don't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Key to a happy marriage. Yeah. Put him in his place. Yeah, she tries. <laughs> it doesn't work. Most of the time, I can't hear her anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no. So. I wish I could read that. It's so far away. uh gary the best place is a uh, sugar tip custom lures or carry i'm sorry i ain't got my glasses on is a uh, sugar tip or dinger baits they're both really good uh just go to google and sugar tip custom lures and you'll find them yeah yeah they were really have good. i done any spinner baits absolutely ben i have i have about nine of them sitting over there behind me at my station in there that uh we're redoing Y'all want to see a video on how I redo a spinner bait? I'd be glad to show you that. I've actually got, uh, I found them after looking for them for years. I found hula poppers, blank hula poppers. And I found them at Sugar Ted. And uh, mm -hmm. they're coming. Yeah, so we we're going to be doing hula poppers. So, uh, Neat. so yeah, I'll do a video on a. Uh, how I do spinner baits. Uh, I actually got a deal that I can make my own, but it takes forever. <clears throat> but I would do it if y'all want to see it. So that'd be an easy one. Yeah, and I tried my hand at rooster tails. Yep. That what I was making. Yep. But man, I'm old and I do computers and I have carpal tunnel and arthritis and wrapping that wire is. Yeah, she was doing inline spinners. They're so, so pretty, but. Yeah, they take a while. And you're very hard. welcome, Ron. So. I'm trying to read, but I have a lag. Yeah, and then we've got some videos coming up where I'm going to restore a couple of lures. 
So uh, that's going to be fun. It is, yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. One of them actually belonged to my father. So uh, it's going to get restored and put in a little plastic case and get put up. So, yeah. So uh, let's talk just a little bit about uh, your uh, artwork on your lures. Uh, it don't matter. If it makes you happy, it does not matter what anybody else thinks about it. Absolutely uh, not. I had painted some lures that I thought nobody would love, and they were the first ones <laughs> out of my shop. You know, uh, I thought, well, I, I don't know that I like this that well. And the first guy that walked in was, bam, I want them. Yeah. And uh, I remember the first trade show we went to, the stuff that was selling, I was like, I, I really didn't know that that would ever sell. I knew Charlie would fish it, but, I mean, I really... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But man, they were picking them up and they liked the bright colors. And, yeah. uh, you know, some of the feedback that we've had from, you know, those people that are still in contact with us. They email us every once in a while. And very unique lures. Yeah. One of a kind. You guys that, that paint, you'll never paint one lure that's exactly alike to the next one. Oh, I hope you Even don't. if you use all the same stuff, it, there will be something different on that lure. I guarantee you. Uh, yeah, Barbara, we'll share the website so others can go online to purchase lures if they want them. Uh, UglyDogLures.com. Ugly .com, yeah. So, yeah. But and it comes it, up as a square a square up store. Yeah. Is what it comes up as. Yeah. She could tell you that because I don't know nothing about it. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so, the unique lures. You're going to figure out real quick that they sell faster than the traditional lure does. So, uh, Mark, you're exactly right, buddy. Catching fish is harder than catching fishermen. Well, yeah. That's a true fact. So, that's why it's called fishing and not that's catching. That's why it's called fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> but I got guys that, uh, will come by my lures just to hang them on the wall yeah yeah that one old guy <laughs> he'll come over and spend two hundred dollars he has like whole frames of yeah lures and people that he knows if he knows them especially he, he has whole collections of them he don't shadow fish. Boxes. he puts them in shadow boxes and puts them on the wall and his brother's a big time fisherman and he brings him over and shows him to stay the hell out of them. <laughs> so it, it's the funniest crap i've ever seen in my life in two old boys <laughs> But they, they're they're very wonderful people. So, yes, but are. it's kind of funny to watch them two guys. <laughs> so I got acquainted with them at a gun show. That's how I got acquainted with them. So we meet lots of people at events. I like events. Tom, it's what kind of lures? I I paint all kinds. Yeah, we have jerk baits and crank baits. Frogs. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. We have these. Deep divers, we have these divers, ones that we divers, uh, wake baits. They're frogs, but the, the feet spin. And when we first got them in, I sat there and I played with them all the time because I always have to have something to keep busy. And so we call them redneck fidget spinners, and we paint them all kinds of crazy colors. And then I put them on my keys, so I can sit there and when I get aggravated with people, I start flipping them. So if I'm ever talking to you and I start flipping my fish, you know what happens. Yeah. I sell those for kids. I'll paint those little frogs up and call them redneck fidget spinners, and they'll sit there and just play with them for hours. Yeah. So. You don't get tired of them because they're easy to hold on to, and you just keep keep on keeping on. Yeah, and Mark, we do have some that hang on our Christmas tree. Yes, so, we do. Yep. In fact, he painted, he painted me... Um, Candy canes in green and red this year, and uh, peppermint lures to hang on the tree. And then we sold a bunch of them. We had a whole bunch yeah, of them on our yeah, tree. I painted a bunch, and a lot of people got them. So I think we only have like six, five or six left. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we were even selling them off of our tree. <laughs> people would call us we're like, yeah, I put it in a bag and tied up like a candy. Yeah. It was Charlie fun. says, I will not fish the one I got you. So, Aww. fish it, buddy. Fish it. I'll get you another one. <laughs> I know that fat guy that paints out there. So, I tell you what, uh, 
I'm going to, I'm going to start a thing. I'm going to give 20% coupons to anybody that will send me a picture of the fish with the lure, the whole nine yards and actually let me put it up because I have some of them, but you know, they're in the picture and, and I don't have permission to advertise it. And I wish I had got permission. Yeah. Uh, Thomas uh, says you guys are great. You are too, buddy. We <laughs> love you a lot. Thank you for being here. Yeah. It's really relaxing listening to you guys while I'm working in the shop. Well, I'm jealous, David. <laughs> I kind of want to be out in the shop too, but it's pretty cold out there. Yeah, so he's stuck in my office for a little while. Yeah. Uh, our website is uh, uglydoglures.com. And definitely subscribe. Boy, we appreciate you, buddy. We have all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on out there in that shop. And, and the closer to 400 we get, we're going to give another group of lures away at 400. So, no problem, Charlie. Uh, we're not eight, probably 18 now uh, away from having 400 subscribers. I have another giveaway. Uh, the giveaway for the Valentine Challenge is a great one. Yeah, all you have to do is vote for that and you get in. The yeah, all drawing. you have to do is vote, you get in the drawing. Uh, Well, we appreciate you spreading the word. Uh, we're growing slowly, but for me, I, I just enjoy spending time with y'all. Uh, I get to spend time with my my bride. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all one thing, though. One of these days, I'm fixing to come out with a song. No. Yes, I am. The song's <laughs> I've been thinking about this song for 26 years called Waiting on My Bride. Cause I sat in the truck and wait on my bride a lot. So just because he doesn't like to go places and do things with me. I just don't like to go places. <laughs> so oh so, yeah, we, we enjoy each other's company a lot. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, there's also a lot of times when I, I tell him to stay in the truck, I can do it myself. I have that kind of attitude. <laughs> it's probably not the best, but yeah. like I got this. Hold my bear. Well, don't you ever give me no bear to hold. You know better. I'm joking. I mean, the cop over here that I'm dressing, it'll be drinking that. But yeah, we, we have a blast doing this. Uh, we got some pretty cool videos coming up. We are usually try to stay five or six videos ahead. Yeah, the problem with that is we film, you know, I showed you the, the cards. If you... We're here for the last video. We use index cards as a clapboard. And so we may film four videos in an afternoon. And we'll put one aside, let it dry. We'll start another one and then kind of go back and forth. And the problem is that is that he talks about, you know, um, our birthdays or our anniversary or, and then it may be a month later before, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> before anything comes out. Cause our anniversary is October 8th, you know, his birthday is September 18th, and I think they were both a month behind. I think my birthday was a month behind, too, because mine's December 22nd, and that was in January, mid-January, when that came out. So, And we appreciate all the birthday wishes and all the happy anniversaries, but, you know, he needs to stop. <laughs> I ain't we need, stop. We'll just do a live feed on our birthdays. How's that? How did you get the name Goose? Oh, no. Well, I'm going to tell you this story. <laughs> That came from my Uncle Norman. When I was a, a little kid, I was probably two years old, maybe a year and a half old, I got salmonella. And uh, I shit my pants and he changed them. And he said, you shit just like a goose. And it's been with me ever since. So that's how I got the nickname Goose. So, you asked. <laughs> Y'all ask. I told you. <laughs> Yeah, Daniel, you, you need to write me some ugly dog music, buddy. Right, I'm supposed to have intro music. Where's the Wayne's birthday or anniversary is September 17th. My birthday is the 18th of September. Yeah. So. See, that's a good month. David said it's 20, minus 20 there. Oh, my God. No, I'll. What? Yeah, minus 20. Is that 20. even a thing? Yeah, that's going to be a thing here in the morning. It is not. It better not. I'm moving to Bora Bora. It's good fishing there. I'm in. So. 
So we, we enjoy doing this so much. Uh, Actually, there's a it job. It took open. her forever to talk me into this <laughs> because I kind of just kind of just uh, stay in my own little world out there. But it's been a blast. Yeah, I used to have a wedding photography business. I'm a certified wedding coordinator, and so I did that for years and years, and then uh, got my real estate. I got into real estate. Ron says he'll never look at geese the same. Me right. neither, buddy. <laughs> well, but that's the true story. That's how I got the nickname Goose. Is I was very sick and. Uh, well, and when we got married, they called him Chuck. His name is Charles. I didn't like Chuck. I didn't like Goose. I didn't want to be married to a Goose. And Charles just didn't fit, so I call him Charlie. So his poor family is just all over the board. Terry, I think you got it worse than any of us. We got three feet of snow. Uh -uh. Wow. Minus 20 Celsius. Lord of mercy, I'll pray for all of you. Holy cow, please stay off the roads. We've been having some bad stuff going on oh, around Lord, us. Yeah, these people can't drive on ice. We can't stop on ice. Yeah. That, there's Austin and there was a big horrible wreck in uh, Fort Worth. And yeah, stay off the roads. We, we don't want anything happening to anybody. Yeah. Not worth it. No, no, not worth it at all. Mm -hmm. But as far as, as y'all's lures, I'd love to see them and, and we will jump right up and we'll start doing some videos on y'all and getting your names out there. I don't know how far they'll go, but I'm sure they'll go some. <laughs> uh, interact with each other and uh, buy from each other, you know, trade yeah. lures. I mean, it's that's how it all works. You know, maybe we should start a Facebook group. We could do that. I we mean, could do that. Yeah, that would be, we already have a Facebook page, but maybe a group. Oh, Terry, I'm sorry, buddy. What did it say? He works for FedEx, and I already knew that. Ooh. So. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Well, I'll pray for your safety there, buddy. Yes, please be careful. Please be careful. So, uh. We could, we could uh, just uh, do all kinds of damn things and to keep our fishing community together and uh, grow all of it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start a Facebook group probably tonight. And then you guys can post all your cool pictures, all the stuff you're doing in there. I'm going to go have some chicken wings here after a while. Yeah, I'll do that while he's cooking because I don't cook. You guys don't, you would not want me to cook. Unless I'm cooking for like a hundred people and then I do pretty good, but I don't cook for small groups. <laughs> so one thing that I had a guy ask me the other day was I, I'm very prominent in cooking jerky. Oh, uh, I hide it. He gets so mad at yeah. me. I hoard it and hide Everybody it. Everybody does. I don't even get <laughs> none of it. The teriyaki. Oh, but, the teriyaki is so yummy. Salmon jerky. He asked me if I would do a video on how to make salmon jerky. So uh, that's something that y'all will be interested in as far as a uh, not really a catch and cook run. He asked for Walmart to get some salmon and cook. That may be something that I might do. Uh, it'd be something different. And it's really good. So she's a bigger fish eater I ever met in my life. She eats yeah, fish am. every day. So. I love fish. <laughs> But I like swai. I think swai is my favorite. And I you ain't never had no crappie yet, girl. Mm. Anything about food, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, uh, me too, buddy. I like me some food. You can tell by looking at me. Right. He makes tamales and green chili cheese tamales, which are pretty unusual. And they're they're so good, they never, ever last. But he makes them at Christmas so that he can give them to us. And we have something to eat and something to unwrap, too. It's hilarious. That's my shopping done. <laughs> uh, it's okay. They're so good. Okay, David. I'll trade you some lures. I'm going to save Charlie some wings. It's going to take him a while to get here. So You're coming from what, Louisiana? <laughs> <laughs> I love your accent, by the way, when I talked to you the other day. I don't get to talk to anybody with the, anything but a text. Ron says, "Add me to the Facebook 
Facebook group as soon as possible. I guarantee you, you guys that hadn't went and seen some of Ron's uh, lures that he makes, he hand makes them. Oh, wow. New Hope Fishing Lures. You need to jump in there and see some of his stuff. Except, Ron, we uh, got to get you to YouTube. Yeah, we got to get you to YouTube, buddy. I mean, Facebook can only go so far. But YouTube is where we, and we had to learn there's tricks to it. I mean, you have to follow all the YouTube rules pretty much but when they start picking you up and, and yeah. kicking you out to people i mean you're it gonna, really does happen you're gonna surpass me by far because they are hand carved oh, and they're they're gorgeous i love them yeah uh, hiding behind the dragon i'm gonna have to try that someday where you picked up <laughs> i was laughing i was like what is he doing terry says it meant him or hunks burning love and he's right i told y'all i love coffee and copenhagen you don't even use Copenhagen. Can't afford that crap. He uses Red Seal something. Hey, buddy, how are you this afternoon? <laughs> We're doing great. Uh, this is another guy y'all need to go check out is Blind Symmetry. This guy is one well of an artist. Oh, my goodness, that orange and Oh, my black God, flames. he paints some beautiful, beautiful baits. So uh, go check out Blind Symmetry Lure Painting on YouTube. He's awesome. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I can't. I can't yep, it. I need to get a computer to edit. Yeah, you you'll get there, Ron. I have faith. You know, you really don't. When we first did our video, I did it with my cell phone and a free program called Power Director in your app store. It's absolutely free, and it was so easy to move everything around. Uh, did the edit? I I made a not really like an intro clip but i made a little clip with words on it that kind of told people what it was and that was my very first house tour that i did i did it on my cell phone and put it on youtube and i've since upgraded and taken that down but it worked there's no no reason why it won't work so try it yeah try it absolutely yeah, if that don't work we'll figure something else out yeah um i use so. another program called Anatomica, I think it was $10 in the app store. It works a little bit different with cubes and moving clips around, but it's fast to edit and easy to see. But you can't layer. I had to change when I started trying to use two cameras and layer uh, clips. But now I use uh, PowerDirector 19. Yeah. And yeah. it was it was $100, but man does it do some neat stuff that i have no idea how to use mark i agree with you everything you said green chili my favorite mexican food and beef burrito smothered in green chili with chicharrones right up my alley buddy mm, you had something like that this morning. he's in virginia charlie's in virginia not Louisiana. oh sorry yeah she's uh blind symmetry you're more than welcome everybody please go check out some of his stuff He's got some awesome stuff. Yeah, he does. I want to know how yes. you did that head. I got to watch that video because that clip came up when I got on the YouTube while ago, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to watch that. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what uh, was that thing you had this morning, that burrito at me for Cena? Oh, I had a soda. Carnia soda. Oh, it looked so good. It was good. And you're very welcome, buddy. Uh, you do beautiful, beautiful work. So it needs to be out there so other people can learn about it. So mm -hmm. you got any questions, ask him. He, I'm sure he'll answer. He answered me right back today. I ask all the time questions to people. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, kind of back to the art side of it. It's all artwork. It is. I mean, it's all just artwork. And don't ever let nobody tell you. Oh, I don't like that because the next guy that walks in is going to say, that's the prettiest lure I've ever seen, and he's going to grab it. Uh, I've discovered that. I've discovered that a lot in the last year. I, I rock a lot, folks, because I can't sit still. I got restless leg syndrome, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I move a lot, and it's just who I am. So. <laughs> you see me every once in a while, I'm like touching it and to make you stop because he doesn't realize he's doing it. It kind of annoys me. Ghost chili venison jerky, blind symmetry, 
is amazing. I agree. It absolutely is. Ghost nothing. No. Um, yeah, buddy. Ouch. I, I eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of it. I just asked my wife. She knows everything. Yeah. I actually have a sign out in my shop that says I don't have to ask Google. I ask my wife. She knows everything. So, <laughs> so I, I know how you feel, Mr. Terry. Yep. It's hanging in the yep. shop. We'll yep. have to show it to you sometime. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So this has uh, really been a wonderful evening with you folks. And I'm going to look forward to doing this the second Saturday of each month. Yeah. So have some good questions for us. Yeah. Or we'll just sit here and bullshit i mean i i don't mind doing that either so yeah, he's uh, full of it i tell ya. yeah i am <laughs> but uh you know i i got to just get all you guys out there and and try to help you build your youtube channels y'all have helped me build mine let me return the favor to you i'll do what i can you know help out any way i can but absolutely go check everybody that I mentioned and go check their YouTube out. Uh, Ron is on Facebook and we're getting him to YouTube. It's a slow process, but uh, he's nope. got some beautiful stuff. You just need to jump in. Leap. It's Leap. not always that easy. It, it, it took her six months to talk me into doing yeah, a video. Talk, he's already doing videos. He already has, he already has videos out. Yeah, I had videos out. But we do everything on YouTube, and then it goes to Facebook, and then it goes to Odyssey, and then it goes to, yeah. we put our, our snaps on Instagram. Instagram, you know, as we're making them kind of thing. So he hasn't quite figured out the master of picture art, but, <laughs> but they're so cool. And he can do that part. He does that, and then he answers a lot of the, the questions. Yeah, we're going to try to stay warm, Barbara. Y'all, too. And so, David says, nice work, Blind Century. Yeah, it, it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Hey, would you guys want to see a tour of Gertrude, our little camper? That might be something that, that would be fun. Ben, we'll catch you later, buddy, and, and thank you for watching. Yes, thank you. Uh, we'll see you later. It's great to visit with you, too. Be sure to tune in. We got some crazy stuff coming up. Yeah, and this, I finally this get hit thing, with a stick. <laughs> this whole thing is your fault. You're the one that got that in his head when you needed to go live. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually uh, Terry Wade. Was it Terry? Yeah. Terry, I thought it was Ben. Terry. And several of them asked me. Oh, so. I remember seeing Ben. Sorry. Charlie, you have a blessed evening, too, buddy. Uh, we're going to just uh, go make some uh, barbecue wings. Barbecue wings here in a minute and maybe get a cold one. Maybe a warm one, as cold as it is outside, but I doubt it. So uh, it's probably colder outside than it is in the refrigerator. <laughs> yep, chart uh, David. He was one of the very first subscribers. Yep, Line Symmetry, you're more than welcome. And we want to Terry, more you're than more than welcome for the help. If you need anything yeah. else, you just contact me. Hi, Outdoors with Caden. How are you, buddy? Terry, you have a blessed weekend and stay warm out there. Yeah, I agree, buddy. The wings are awesome. <laughs> and the more stuff we can promote, you guys let us know if Weird. we need to subscribe or, or share or if there's yeah. anything like that. It's uglydoglures at gmail.com or uglydoglures.com. You can contact us either way. Uh, outdoors with Caden, uh, we're doing very well, buddy. Uh, Thank you for subscribing. He's a brand new subscriber. Uh, we got a lot of crazy stuff that goes on around here and uh, <laughs> our little fishing community that we have. And uh, we enjoy doing what we do. And I just can't thank you enough for subscribing, buddy. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel? And also, we're, we've been kind of off and on here lately, but we are going to try Monday nights. And Thursday night's challenge. We're going to try to be on Saturday nights with the first, or the, sorry, the second Saturday of the month going live, six o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Um, so Monday, Thursday, and Saturday for sure, and little incidentals in between. So we, uh, we're really glad you guys are joining us. And 
Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody, go check out Outdoors with Caden. He's uh, got a YouTube channel. I'll be checking it out here shortly. Uh, Ron, maybe we'll do a cooking video once a month. Maybe I'll teach y'all how to make tamales. <laughs> awesome, Caden. Uh, as soon as I get back there to the, to the, or I guess I can do it here in a minute. Go to Outdoors with Caden and uh, subscribe, please. So my wife's going to do that for me, and I'll be subscribing. I'll be checking out what you got, buddy. So that'll be fun. And I will uh, plug you somewhere down the line on a video. So, uh, what, what kind of videos do you do? I'm trying to look it up. Outdoors with Kate. I yeah. know, but what is I'm in know? on that too, Mr. Carey. Uh, we do all kinds, of, I do all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, my brother went to South Texas here a while back and he shot me a hog. And uh, we're going to roast the whole hog. So we'll, we'll do a video on that. Uh, Caden, that's all right, buddy. Videos will come in time. So it's going to get spring here pretty quick and we're all going to be fishing. David, good night, buddy. Much love to you, too. Bye. Now, Caden uh, does uh, hunting videos and fishing videos, so awesome. I'll be tuning in to check it out, buddy. Right. What's my personal best fish? Well, saltwater or freshwater? <laughs> Mark, have a blessed evening, buddy, and we mm -hmm. will. We'll catch you later, buddy. Uh, be sure to tune in for Monday night's or tomorrow night's video. We'll draw the winner. Uh, best fish in uh, freshwater Caden would be a 54 pound yellow cat. And, uh, Oh, nice. 19 pound striper. Wow. That's a big wow. boy. And the best fish that I caught saltwater was a little over 300 pound shark. Did not want to catch that, but I did. Is it Outdoor Adventures with Caden? Outdoors, yeah, with Caden. Well, I didn't find Outdoors with Caden. I found Outdoor Adventures with Caden. Caden Outdoors. I think that's him right here. I'll look back in the feed. I'll find it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely itching to get to the lake myself. So, just outdoors with Caden. So, 52 pound grass carp. Lord of mercy. I bet that was a fun one. The kid with the hybrid. The kid with the deer in the picture. Okay, we got it. I think I did see that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I bowfish. Uh, no, I haven't bowfished. I would like to do that. I've been flounder gigging a lot in my life. Uh, oh, I bet it did run. I'd like to bowfish. I think that'd be fun. I do bow hunt. I do have some bows, but uh, fishing is something that I will try to do at some point. Yeah, jump like a tarpon. My God, I couldn't imagine catching a carp that big. Wow. Well, I could imagine it, but it would be all messed up redneck thing, you know. So, <laughs> I imagine a lot of things, but... Uh, <laughs> He dreams, he talks in his sleep, he I fishes do. in his sleep. <laughs> uh, Mark, it's a sugar tit, custom lures. They have the hula popper blanks. I don't remember what they were, a dollar or something a piece. Very nice lures coming out of sugar tit. I've caught more bass on the hula popper. Than I ever have anything else in my life as far as top water goes. 
But they're really hard to find, especially they are lights. hard to find, and you can find them, but they're uh, they're stickers. They're not painted on. They're stickers, and you know, you know how I feel about that. So I do. Yeah, I'll have to look. It's okay. We'll find. I don't think it's it's not coming up. So okay. I've done that too. I blacked my wife's eye setting the hooker once or twice. Oh no! Or elbowed her in the side of the head. I used to have really long hair. I mean, it was down the middle of my back, and I was asleep one night, and he, I don't know what he was doing. Something outdoorsy because he kept screaming at the top of his lungs like somebody needed to pay attention. I just not get somebody to ask. He reared back and put his elbow into my hair and oh, it got pulled half of it out of my head. And that was the second time I got shot. I did not shoot you a second time. I thought about it. <laughs> I do a lot of crazy crap in my sleep. So kind of got off the subject, but I do. <laughs> I talk in my sleep. I build lures in my sleep. I'll be laying there asleep and wake up in the middle of the night and get up and go to the shop. Yeah. Because I have something that come through my head that I have to go get out of my head. I do uh, that quite often. We used to have this dog, Rio, that she slept on the recliner with him and her head would be like right here and she'd sprawl out down his legs and I'd walk up just for the fun of it and like hit his foot. He and that dog would both come <laughs> Yeah, Mark, as a, when I was younger, a hula popper and jitterbugs, I, yeah, I caught mucho fish on them. Oh, and he lived down in Bryan in College Station. Bryan College and, Station, Texas. So he got to go fish all the time. Every day. And now we live, like, the farthest from a lake that we could probably be. 70 miles to the nearest lake. Yeah. But we go. We do. Little two-lane roads. So we don't go in a dicky outside. <laughs> Yeah, Caden, I don't know how you feel, buddy. I do that, too. What did he say? He said, I went out to the lake once, and I was out for 15 hours during my sleep. I sat in the hook all night. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, it's so calming. You can't, you can't not go there when you're trying to calm down or when you're in a happy place. That's just what you think about. So. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely love going to the lake. I like going to the lake to be at the lake. That ain't why I go. Yeah. So now that we are going to go to the lake for him to fish and me to film, it might be a little better. Except that yeah. the, we don't have the boat to go anymore. So. Not yet. So. It's coming. And then my mom had a boat and she just sold it. People in Abilene. I'm so jealous. We should have just bought that. Yeah. <laughs> but we did. Yeah, we'll, we'll get one. You just gotta be patient. Not everything comes in one day. I'm not patient. So, that'd be a pretty good size hybrid <laughs> to do that. So I've been mad too, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, well folks, I think we're gonna end it here. We've been an hour and twenty minutes into this now, so uh just remember that every one of you have a blessed evening. And it's time for some wings and things. Yeah. So, uh, it sure is. But we'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow because there'll be another video coming out tomorrow. We'll really announce the winner. I need five votes, guys. No, don't do it. Don't vote for it. <sighs> my poor shark. Hey, did anybody figure out my Morse code? I've got a special prize for anybody that figures that out and puts it in the comments. I'm going to. Put anybody that figures that out, I'm going to put you in the pool, and uh, we're going to draw for something special-ish. Yeah, Bron, I agree with you. The woods and water are like a religious place for me, too. But That's where I'm me. the most at ease. And I lived here. So, yeah. <laughs> I kind of stuck him here, and it's, it's my fault. I hear about it all the time. How are we streaming? YouTube studio? Yes. YouTube studio. Good night, Mark. God bless you too, buddy. Bye. We're going to get on out of here and uh, 
I'm gonna go cook and uh, I don't know what she's gonna do. I'm gonna make a Facebook group. She's gonna make a Facebook group. I done forgot about that. See, I'm old and forgetful. So yeah. y'all have a blessed evening. Have a great week, and we'll catch you later. Bye. You gotta click the end stream. See the red button? No. Don't break my computer. <laughs> Bye, guys. And here we go.